Hey, bro, you in here? Uh, is that? That's you downstairs cooking? <laughs> Hell no. That's mom. <laughs> And how was your rest on the couch last night? Look, don't be funny. What? She wasn't taken to my room. You should have planned her visit better. I didn't know she was coming. Really? How convenient. She just pops up right after you visit her. Look, I'm telling you the truth. I don't have to lie to you. I don't want her here just as much as you don't. Why exactly don't you want her here? Am I missing something? No. No, no. Are you sure? Because you seemed like you saw a ghost last night when she walked through the door. I was just surprised to see her <laughs> here. What did you tell her on your visit? Um, I mean, I told her about our relationship. Uh, okay, you want to elaborate a little bit? <laughs> I kind of told her that we weren't that close and that we barely see each other. She was just a little confused considering the time that I've been here. And did you tell her why we're not that close? Because you're not responsible? <laughs> I may have left that part of the story out. Oh wait, so she thinks it's my fault. <laughs> I just don't want her to worry. So can you just please not go there with her? As long as she doesn't think it's on me, we're good. Okay, good. I'll make sure she doesn't ask a lot of questions. Keep her. Yeah, okay, Jorah. Let's go downstairs and eat. Oh, and I kind of invited Brandon over. What? Why did you invite Brandon? Well, she asked me to. Why would she ask you to ask him to come here? I kind of mentioned the fact that you guys were getting married. What? <laughs> just, just play along oh, and just come on. Would you like anything to drink or eat? I, I'm good. Jabril? No. I just wonder why you sold me off. Jabril. What? Why not? Okay, first off, I, I didn't sell you off. Um, I had no choice in the matter. Bullshit. How do you just let somebody take your child? Watch your language. I know you don't know me, but you're not going to talk that way to me in my house. All right. Try to respect your problems. Thank you. I'd appreciate that. Okay. Please continue. Um, your father knew I was pregnant long before I came to him for help. He basically told me that I had to sign over my rights. And if I didn't, he would drive me into court as an unfit parent. So I signed over my rights. But he, he did promise that I would be able to see you anytime that I want. But after I signed those papers, he put a restraining order out on me. Okay, and I had to stay away from you. I had to stay far away from you and the Davenports. I was devastated. So, that was just it? You gave up? I wasn't aware that restraining orders was a permanent thing. With that family, anything is possible. Um, likely or... Or so I thought, you know. And it was only supposed to be until your 18th birthday. And then after that, you were to make your own decisions, but... Knowing how barren is, how your father is, and you know, um, 
It's just he would get to people, you know, before I did. He was always 10, 10 steps ahead of me. You know, when I found out information about you, he would already warn and threaten people. And then when I do get, get information about you, um, you know, no one's seen you. you. You disappeared for a while. And, you know, I did reach out to other people to help me um, for my job, my company. Uh, that I know that would know you and they would help me find you. But every time I did, your father was there and shortly after that you disappeared again. So I'm not sure what happened. Where were you? What, what happened? What is it? Well, I was just thinking back to when I graduated. My dad did send me overseas but it was supposed to be like a graduation and birthday gift. I mean, he said I needed like a break before I uh, went to school. I didn't even start that semester till that following spring. So what she's saying is making sense? See? See, I'm telling the truth, I'm not lying. Uh, I'm not saying that I believe you. I don't know who or what to believe right now. I'm just trying to process all this information that's been coming at me like the tsunami for the past few months. So what have they been telling you about me? Um, pretty much that you were a gold digger, just out for a payday. You seduced my father got pregnant, and then pretty much left me on the doorstep as soon as you got a check. Looks like it was money well spent. Excuse me? Let me tell you something, you spoiled brat. That was a long time ago. That money been gone. That was damn near 20, 30 years ago. That, 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 that money wasn't even enough to pay for my college. And do you think your coward ass father would be that generous? Think again. Miss Anderson, he, he didn't mean that, bro. That's okay, he doesn't have to apologize. You know, I know it's a lot to take in. And you just have to figure out what you want to believe. You know, I I want to be heard. That's all I want. I just want to be heard. I want you to hear my side. You know, I'm not trying to be your mother. You know, I just, I just want to start somewhere. Let me guess. This was all Tessa and what she had to say. No, she actually never mentioned you. I'm sure. But anyway, it was nothing like that. You know, when I lost you, I lost everything. I was devastated. You know, and then one day I get a call from an accountant um, saying that he has an account with uh, my name and he wanted, you know, the address where he can send the information to. Um, and then once I did get the details about that, you know, I figured, I, I, I knew where it came from, you know. And I started to tell the accountant to shove it. But then I, I decided, no, that'll be my field of fight. I see you're finally up. Yeah. So how'd you sleep, Jabril? Oh, it's pretty decent. What about yourself? Oh, real bed is like air. Now I see how, why he hasn't got his own place. Lily, don't start, Mom. It's just an observation. 
Okay. So, what time is work for you boys? Um, I actually need to head in shortly, but it's a light day for me, so I can go in late. You're up. Me after breakfast. I still cannot believe, you know, that that money for that degree is being wasted and poured into Rock's glasses all day. Don't encourage her. It's the truth. I was trusting it was a means to an end. But you know, I'm gonna keep my thoughts to myself for the moment. Well, yeah, maybe I'll need some pep talks while you're here. Mine don't seem to be working much. Is he being far ahead? Um, not so much, I guess. I just need him to figure out what he's going to enjoy doing and make sure it's lucrative. Sure. Yes, I told him about living in the moment and not preparing for the future. See, exactly. I think once he figures that out, he'll be good to go. Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, change the subject, please. Uh, how are you boys getting along? Uh, it's a it's a process. A process. What the hell does that mean? Um, meaning that we're still growing on each other. You know, figuring each other out. Still, it's been months. Well, wow. <laughs> months doesn't make up for decades. I know, I know, but you just have to get closer. Yeah. And I, I won't mention what Ralph. What he said, you know, because I know he's one sad. Mom! Okay. Don't even open your mouth and try to lie. Could your girl just make some time for him? I know you both are busy, okay? But he needs a man in his life. And you all have to do a lot of catching up. Oh, it's, it's probably Brandon, I'll get it. Oh, fix it. Whatever y'all got going on, because I don't like the shit. Okay? Sure, mom. Listen, all I'm asking for is that you listen to everything and think about it. Like, we all make mistakes. Just give me a chance. Like, a lot of stuff here didn't make sense from what they were, you were told and whatever you hear. So obviously you know I'm telling you. Mom, the what's truth. going on? I heard you got to come out. Mom, who the hell are you? What's going on in here? No, no. Listen, can you just go to your room, please? You're no. Who are they? Jarrell. Jarrell, you have got to be fucking kidding me. Is there a problem? <laughs> you, are you going to tell him what's the hold up? Jabril, just chill out. Wait. Jarrell, just go to your room. No. Damn. What did you just say his name was? <laughs> Jabril. Jabril? <laughs> really? Is that Jabril? You're yes, really Jabril? Jabril. What? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I can't, wait, I can't believe. Can you go to your room so we can talk? <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, just uh, hurry up. Okay. Hurry up. All right. Is he okay? Yeah, he's fine. Well, can we sit down? Yeah. Okay. He just got a little excited about Jabril. So he knows who Jabril is? Oh yeah, he does. He's known about Jabril since uh, he was born. Yeah, he he's pretty much been helping me. Like, every time I try to you know, find any information about Jabril, he's always the one who's telling me to keep going. You know, I want to stop and he's, you know, he tells me to keep going. You know, he pushed me more and more until I found you. And I never, I never stopped thinking about you. Never have. Just want you to know that. I know it's hard. Um, but anyway, once I did find information about you, you were gone, you disappeared. Like, no one knew where you were. What happened? Uh, that's that's a long story, but I 
look, I had a breaking point with my family and we parted ways. Okay. You know, you don't have to give me the political prep answer. Yeah. It's not. That's just the answer that I'm choosing to give you right now at this moment. And how long were you gone for? Um, about eight years or so. So, how was life after the custody situation? Uh, other than what I've already told you, uh, I met this guy in college. Uh, we got married, obviously, a divorce. Um, after that, I met Rel's, Rel's dad, and he left shortly uh, after he was born. So, you're, you're married? Uh, I thought your last name was Anderson. Uh, my last name was Anderson. I was married. Yeah, but... No need for that. It's water under the bridge. But, you know, I did keep the name Anderson uh, just in case if uh, Jabril would come looking for me, you know. I'll still have the same name, so it'll be easy to find me that way. Uh -huh. um, Good morning, guys. Good morning. Have a seat. Have yourself. Thanks again for inviting me, Miss Corinne. You're welcome. I'm in town. Yeah. Why not spend some quality time with my family? So, how long are you in town for? Oh, a couple days. You know, came to check up on my boys. They're in each other's lives. That's so you get to catch the bro while he's home. Yeah, I mean, he's like always traveling for work, so. Well, I'm sure that company can't run itself. See? Exactly. And on that note, I need to get ready for work. Uh, yeah, I think it's about time for me to get ready to work. Thanks, Mom, for breakfast. I'll see you later, okay? Uh, you get a break, correct? Right? Yeah. Okay, well, I'd love you to take me out to lunch. Okay, why don't you just call me with the address in the time? You know, it's a small town. I'm sure I can call my way. Um, yeah, I'll call you later. <laughs> it's not fun. Alright, see you guys later. Would you like some coffee? I have some brewing. Yes, please. So this meal, I'm not going to be no good for my clients later. So, I hear you're going to be my son. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yes? It's okay. When Raul came to visit, he, he told me. I haven't talked to Jarrell yet, though. Are you ready for that next step? I guess I am now. Now? Were you unsure? <laughs> no, not really. It's just me and Jabril have been through a lot over the past four years. Couples go through things, it's natural. You know, but you guys made it this far. And something has you two attached. So hold on to that. We realize that now. You know, I'm hoping maybe I can witness the union. But I don't think he would want me there. Oh, you think you can put in a good word for me? I am I'd not appreciate it. getting in the middle of this. You two have to form a bond together. If he asked me, I would tell him the same thing. Y'all just have to get comfortable with it. Yeah, you're right. You know, you know him better than I do. I'll take your word. Good. I'm glad he had someone in his corner other than the diamond ports. He needs that. No comment. <laughs> Good answer. Uh, so you two are getting along. Uh, are you ready? Yes, I am. 
Is that how you found me? No. Actually, my father told me where you were. Oh, really? Oh, I would have never guessed that. Your father? Well, he only recently told me. Kind of used it as a bargaining chip. Oh. Well, the tactic or something. Yeah, he wanted me to come back to the family. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry to interrupt. Uh, may I please use a bathroom? Oh, uh, sure. It's down the hall to the right. Uh, I'll be back. Thank you. <laughs> so, what did you say? Um, it was, uh, probably used it as like a, like you said, a tactic. Wanted me to come back to the family. Davenport Industries and to gain access to my trust fund. What? So, when you left, you left with nothing? Yes. Why? What did they do to you to make you leave like that? Um, let's just say I got tired of making my family happy. I need to leave and just find myself. Well, I guess I'm not going to get to the truth today. But that's okay. At least you're here. And uh, you came to your senses. And, you know. Uh, came to my senses? I guess you can call it that. And what does that mean? <sighs> Let's just say... I realized going back, I changed a lot. So it's like a take it or leave it type of situation. My father to an extent gets that. But uh, with him, it's always something else going on. So I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop. Yeah, but Baron, you never know. Always need a wild card with him. Just in case. Yes. Hey, you just scared the shit out of me. My bad, my apologies, that wasn't my intentions. No worries, excuse me. But, um, I was actually waiting for you to come out. Since you're here with your bro, I like, got a couple of things I need to ask you. Right. Maybe anything you, you need to ask, you should probably ask your bro. Or better yet, your mother. I mean... I have, and she's told me everything she can, which is nothing. I mean, whoever thought today I'd get to meet my brother? I mean, shit, I never thought that would happen. I mean, what is he like? What does he do? Listen, I... You should talk to your brother. Oh, come on. There's got to be something you can tell me. I don't... Okay, look, do you think they don't tell me yet? I don't know, but I'm quite sure your mom would tell you if the coast is clear. <sighs> Come on, you can't tell me anything. If it uh, ease your mind and make peace, I would make sure Jabril talk to you before he leaves. Really? Oh, man, that's amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. <sighs> All right. See, I'm Brandon. Jarrell, nice to meet you. Oh, okay. oh, well, that was a nice surprise. Ah, too surprising. But that sounds so excited. Well, apparently, Jarrell let her know about our strange relationship and she felt like she needed to come check on us. So, well. It seems like that you two are getting along nowadays. 
it's it's going, but I just need him to get his shit together. Like get in the fast lane, speed, real quick. Not too fast. You don't want to be reckless. No, definitely not. not <sighs> well, you got a busy day today? Um, not too busy. Just a couple of meetings, but. I do have to go back out of town for like a week. Again? You just got back. I know, but it's the quarter's closing out and I just gotta make a couple of visits. You know, other offices. Okay. I understand. We just haven't spent a lot of time together. Hell, we already act like a married couple. <laughs> so, how is registration? You got everything you need? Yep. Got everything, just waiting for my transit to come back and good to go. Did you decide on summer classes or not? I'm just gonna wait till the fall so I can save money and do as many clients as possible. Uh, sounds like a plan. Yeah, I got this. Good, one less thing I have to worry about. I told you you didn't have to worry about it in the first place. Yeah, you did. So I'm gonna let you do your thing. Thank you. I'm just excited to see where this new venture is gonna take me. Well, stay excited because once those exams and papers start piling up, you wanna hear no complaints. Remember, you're excited. I can't promise you that. Okay, I'm not arguing with you about this right now. We'll deal with it when it comes up. I gotta go to work. See you later. Whatever. <laughs> Have a good day. Bye. Come here, look at this. <sighs> what you over here looking at? And where's Cora? Uh, she went over there with something to drink. There's some baby pictures I've never seen. Uh, look at that. What happened? You know. Can I, can I have a kiss? Uh-uh, no. I ain't feeling your attitude right now. Really? You want to start now? Yeah, I am starting. You, the way you talk to your mom, you know that wasn't cool. Don't hurt me. Well, look, maybe I was out of line, but look, look what I was walking into and I had it on the fact. I know this is a hard time for you, but you can't just be going around lashing out on everybody. You know, these are giving them the opportunity to explain themselves. You promised me you would listen first. Okay, I will react sometimes. Sometimes? <sighs> More than sometimes. You happy? Not at all. Can I just have a kiss? I decided to bring you something to drink. Oh, Brandon, I thought you got lost. Uh, nah, I just ran into Jarrell in the hallway briefly and we spoke. He oh. seems like a nice kid. Oh, he is, he is. You know, he's fresh out of college. Uh, and I'm so proud of him. He's actually becoming a man now, so. What are you talking about? You? <sighs> Don't worry. It's fine. He's just excited about you. About seeing you. So am I. We both are. Uh, I wish I could say the same thing. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, I just, this, I wasn't expecting any of this. You, him, I mean, the whole situation. I've just always believed what I grew up being told. I mean, what child wouldn't go with what their parents are telling them. And... Who in their right mind would take a child and keep it from its mother or give their child up? I just, I just don't. I still didn't know. I still don't know who or what to believe right now. So I know, and you and I both know that this was not going to be a walk in, easy walk in the park. 
you know. But as I said earlier, would you at least think about all the things that I said? You know, about us starting fresh. Um, I think we could start there. Um, I'll take that. But I, I will apologize for the way our you know, meeting started. I came here and already had a set mind on, you know, on how the situation was going to go. And I just wanted to hear your hear what you were going to say, but I kind of already thought I knew what was going on. So again, I apologize for that. Thanks for that. It means a lot. And I think you should go speak to Jarrell. Um, I don't know about that. Can we do one like step at a time? I just potentially got a whole new family. Gotta go step by step here. He yeah. really, really wants to meet you. I get it, but let's let me just get to know her first instead of bringing him into the fold. That's gonna be a lot. I think that's a lot for all of us. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I think you should wait for a little while. Okay. Well, we um probably we're gonna go check into the hotel up the street. Uh, drop our bags off. Know, rest up a little bit. And can I cook you guys dinner? I'd love to cook. Yeah. Um, it sounds like a plan, but let us just, we've been traveling all day, so okay. let's just relax a minute and then, I mean, I'll give you a call. Let's yeah. see if we can. I like come that. Back. Yeah, rest up. You know, I'll have dinner waiting if you decide right. to come. If not, we can do it again another day. Oh, well, thanks for having us. Thank you. It's nice meeting you. Me too. Carl. <laughs> Later, I'll be definitely on dinner. Um, get your picture back. It's good meeting you. Everything is fine. I told you that. I don't even know why you popped up like that. Though. Why? And you asking me why? When your lazy ass is still living in the guest room? And to make things worse, you work at some damn dive bar. Indigo is not a dive bar, Mom. Boy, I don't care what the shit is. It's not Davenport Industries where you need to be. I told you, I don't like all of that corporate stuffy soup garbage. Garbage? That's our ticket to money. And that's where you need to be, now. Our ticket? More like your ticket. You just haven't learned yet. Now, I've been around Jabril and those Davenports for a split second. And I mean, I can even see that they have little to no love for each other. I just want my brother. And you should be satisfied with just having your son back in your life. I'll be satisfied when I'm truly compensated for the, my sacrifices. And if I didn't walk through that door, my life would be totally different. Yeah, I know. I wouldn't be here, and you would be happier with just having Jabril. That's not true. Well, I love you. I would do anything for you. You're my child, and no one will ever change that. No one. Yeah. Okay, Mom. You know what? I'm not here to baby you. I'm not. I'm here to, to knock some sense into your head. We need to make money now. So we need to stop pussyfooting in this godforsaken town. Do I need to ask your bill for a job for you? What? No. He and I are, we're in a good place. And besides, me working for Jabril, it would just add drama to our relationship, and I'm good. Okay, so what is your plan? Because these tips is not going to go far. You need to stop worrying about me. Look, you told me I can't do what I want to do in your house. Well, guess what, Mom? I'm not in your house anymore. 
So stop worrying about me. This is where you have it wrong, okay? I'm always gonna be worried. Especially when it's our future. Wait, what happened? They're gone? Yeah, they went to go check into the hotel. <sighs> so you just let them leave without me even getting a chance to talk to them? Listen, you need to calm down. I, I am calm. No, you're not. How do you expect to get a job? <sighs> oh, because he's the CEO of Davenport Industries, you think he's gonna hire me? Yeah, he can get you a job, dummy, if you stop acting so foolish. You have your son back. Why are you still filled with so much vengeance? Why? Why are you insulting me? Okay, I will not let the Davenports get away scot-free. They owe us. Ma, and how are you so sure that he's going to hire me? Huh? Because he will. Jabril is not like that. He will. So you think he's just gonna allow you or me to just play him like that? I'm not playing him or using him. Ma, I don't, I don't know about this. I don't know. I just want a brother, but you just so set in your ways about the Davenports and just getting what's owed to you. I don't even think you can anymore. But I guess I'll play your game with you. Good night. Our future? Look, I got this. Look, I gotta get back to work. So, let me get you home and I can go back home. No, you go ahead, just give me your keys. I'll, I'll find my way. All right, look. And listen, I know you, I know you're a lost tomorrow. Don't talk to me like that again, all right? All right, so I'll see you later. All right. Love you. Love you too. And to think, there was a good chunk of my life where I didn't have family at all. And now, I have two. And possibly marrying into a third. There's a good part of me that believes that I'll probably be better off without all of them. But, for now, I'll proceed with caution. As they should as well, regarding me. Because now, my happiness is first and foremost. Oh, you're home early. I hope you don't mind. Ral gave me the key so I won't be locked out. Oh, that's fine. No problem. Where have you been at? Oh, just roaming the city. Yeah. Just checking things out. It's pretty blah, though. <laughs> yes, blah. But. <laughs> Has its moments. Okay, if you say so. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> Look, honestly, if it wasn't for Brandon and Davenport Industries, I'd probably be somewhere else. How's that too? Yes. And uh, Jarrell mentioned he may have told you about Brandon and I. Yeah. I didn't want to pry. I felt that when the time was right, you would tell me. We'd hook up. <sighs> It wasn't so much about being comfortable, it was, you know, we were just meeting for the first time and I just wanted us to, you know, tackle one subject at a time. And add another to the list. Yes. The newly adopted son. Mm. You know, he just needs guidance. Mm. Yeah. But I'm relieved to know that he wound up here. I, I wasn't. <laughs> I mean, but... Now, I'm getting used to him, kind of, but he has a lot, a lot of growing up to do. Oh, that is so <sighs> But I'm glad it's you. I'm glad you're here to show him, you know? You gotta put your foot down, though. You know, he is hard-headed. <laughs> yes, that he is. But see, the thing is, I don't want to come off as a father. And right now, that's how it's, like, seeming. I mean, I joke yeah. about it a lot, but I'm honestly just good with having a brother. But... Like now, at this point, I'm done arguing. He's he's gonna learn hard with. Yeah, I understand. You know, and he's grown. You know? He'll definitely find it hard work how he's to live in this world as an adult. That he will. So, uh, what do you think about the wedding? 
think I'll get an invitation. Uh, <laughs> uh, see, the thought crossed my mind, but I wasn't sure how everyone would feel about that. Everyone? Yes. You, my father, Tessa. I, I just don't want you all there to cause us any. Yeah, I think after all these years, you know, I think we can, you know, we can be civilized adults for you. I See, think so. I'm not so sure about that. Well, you can take me off to cause a scene list. <sighs> I'll be on my best behavior. Do you think, after all these years, that I would go on your wedding? Oh. I don't know about them. The way that I see it, I won. You know, they they really tried to separate us. And they failed. <sighs> okay, uh, I'll make a deal with you now. I'm going out of town tomorrow for a little while. And when I get back, I'll give you a call. I'll let you know. Or a business trip, huh? Yes, but I won't be going to them. Good, because I don't want you turning out like your father. All work. Relax sometimes. I'm oh. going to be taking that advice sooner rather than later. Perfect. Well, let me go on upstairs so I can get myself together so I can have what? <laughs> Wait, I thought you were... Staying for a little while. So you're leaving tonight, man? Yes. Ain't no sense of me sticking around here. There's nothing to accomplish. You know, I'm gonna leave you around. You know. And um, wait for my wedding invitation. <laughs> <laughs> Too, ma'am. Take me to the nearest casino. Uh -oh, Atlantic City? Yes. I'm heading back home now. Excuse me? You need to watch a damn tone when you address me. I don't give a rat's ass. I already told you. I got it covered. They are off limits. Let that be the last time that I tell you. After the wedding, damn it! <laughs> 